here's the nice maintenance for you. One of the newer Gillies on bus 2088 here on Northern and Francis. And you can't really see it that well, but yeah, we got a leaky tailpipe. Oh boy. It's another day with Lakeman Incorporated. Oh! Just when things couldn't get any more worse with Bruce Blakeman's buses. I can't see it right now, but once we get this red light to change, because I got plenty of time to wait because the Q13's bunched up today with overcrowding. The two buses are literally tailing with each other. But guess what? Another bus is having a problem. And I literally noticed it as it was pulling up. Here we go. Yep. I don't know what happened. It said N20G earlier on 1999, but yeah, I noticed it was saying N20G. So maybe the driver was in the process of changing the sign or something. I don't know. And make things even worse, Q12 just came here, and guess what? It wasn't a stretch bus. It was one of the old school uh, number four models from Stangle. So obviously I have to take the 12 back later anyway, because I need the 13 to get over to CVS. So yeah, that's what it is out here. You know, typical madness on Northern Boulevard. Oh boy, thank goodness I didn't get on this unit. 4688's having engine issues, I could tell. Probably when the accelerator is being hit. Yeah, this bus is making a very terrible noise. Ugh. And uh, right now, I'm going to show a picture on the screen right now as I'm walking into CVS. I was on bus 7377, and guess what I saw? You guessed it. The pilot baby stroller program. And the next picture you're going to see is crediting Yuki Endo. I want to thank Yuki for this over the weekend. Apparently, Yuki was the one who tipped me off about this. So Yuki, if you're watching, thank you. I appreciate it. So one last thing before I got to go into CVS. I want to do a little update on the White Castle here in Bayside. So the update is as follows. It looks like the construction is moving along very well, which is excellent news. So yeah, now I gotta go into CVS and get what I need to get. All right, so we need to talk about the governor's ball, folks, because it was not fun this weekend with what parts of Flushing, Bayside, and even yours truly in Fresh Meadows had to deal with this past weekend. It was a noise fest. It was a real disaster this weekend. Between June 9th and yesterday, June 11th so it was just a nightmare guys so last night was the worst because i'm literally about four miles away from flushing meadows corona park and i actually tried calling 911 to complain 911 directed me to 311 and 311 was completely overwhelmed so that's why there was a lot of confusion this weekend. And I want to say, if you're a 911 operator, you know, in the city of New York, you know, don't play that stupid voicemail every time saying, ooh, this is an emergency call. No, next time, just tell us to dial 311. It's just a simple thing. Or go on the 311 app to make a complaint. But here's the problem with the 311 app. Flushing Meadows Corona Park has no address. And what I'm more upset about a little bit is with the Fresh Meadows 
Homeowner Civic Association. They didn't notify anybody about this. Or they probably didn't realize how loud the music was going to be. As I'm literally walking past this Hyundai Sonata that should not be on the sidewalk. So, they didn't realize that. And then add on the fact that Community Board 8 didn't notify us what was going on. The fact that in Fresh Meadows, we weren't notified by City Councilman James Gennaro. We weren't notified by uh, who else? Right, Senator John Liu. We weren't notified by Assemblywoman Nilly Rosick. And, you know, maybe Grace Ming should have notified us, but that's a whole different story as she's dealing with her own mess in D.C. Ugh. Capitol Hill's a mess, that's all I'm going to say. So, it was a disaster this weekend. And I reached out to all four of them today. And James Gennaro has this weird voicemail. It sounds like a cell phone. Guys, if you call Councilman Gennaro and you live in the 24th District, just make sure that you leave the voicemails as urgent. Because at least the, the, if James Gennaro wants another term in November, because remember, we're voting for city council in November. We got to urge Jim, uh, Jim Gennaro and, and tell him, you know, lobby Mayor Adams to have the event back at Randall's Island next year. Because didn't anybody do a noise check and realize that it was going to disturb Fresh Meadows, Flushing, Bayside, and I think even parts of Elmhurst, from what I was being told, did hear it. And it was so loud last night at like 8.30, 9 o'clock, I could literally hear Kendrick Lamar performing out my window. Like, that's how bad it was, guys. So, the same should also go implies to Hot 97 Summer Jam. And I'm very glad, man, this slow poke's in my way. Hey, 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 take it easy. Take it easy. What the f does that mean, slow poke in your way? What the f are you saying? You talk too f loud, too. So where was I? All right, so I'm redoing that part on Northern Boulevard because I was just out of breath and I was trying to run away from that guy as quickly as I could. So what I was trying to say before that slow poke got in my way was last weekend, Bruce Blakeman was very vocal about how Hot 97 Summer Jam was going to create a lot of noise in the Elmont, Queens Village area. And... Jonathan D'Souza from Passengers United last weekend reached out to me and he was saying, can you check flight radar? There's an NYPD helicopter flying over my house. And I'm like, uh-oh, Jonathan, it may be Hot 97 at UBS Arena. So that's what basically happened in the Elmont, Queens Village area last week. Um, Blakeman was the one very vocal about how it was going to cause a noise problem and I'm very glad that he did speak out in Nassau County so basically what I'm trying to say here is you know at the end of the day Hot 97 needs to put the event back at MetLife Stadium that's what I was trying to say and another reason why I had to edit the rest of that part out was AMPM was playing copyrighted music, so I didn't want to get claimed for copyright. So High 97 needs to move their event back to New Jersey next year. Bottom line, Charleston agrees with me. You know, UBS Arena has like 18,000 seats. Maybe because MetLife was overwhelmed with Taylor Swift. They were overwhelmed with Ed Sheeran. Okay, I get it. I completely get it. But next year... You know, Emmett's communication, yes, they're still owned by Emmett's. Good. 
All right. So Emmett needs to realize that bottom line, along with Medco Holding Group, you can't do this to people in Elmont in Queens Village. You're in a residential area. Unlike MetLife Stadium. And the same applies to the governor's ball. You know, the governor's ball, again, needs to be back in Randall's Island. Like I was saying, you know, Randall's Island is isolated. MetLife Stadium is isolated. It doesn't interfere with residential neighborhoods. So, this has got to change next year, guys. Because this is, this is how our quality of life deteriorates. We let all these big events with these outdoor spaces get involved, and they make all this loud noise, you know, it's just not fair. It's not fair, you know, that, that's all I'm trying to say, all right? And thankfully, I did hear back from the Homeowner Civic Association. Jim Gallagher did tell me that we are going to have fireworks here in Fresh Meadows on Thursday, so uh, feel free to come out to Cunningham Park if you feel like it, because I know I'm going to be viewing the fireworks along 73rd Avenue because <laughs> why would I want to go to Cunningham when I can literally go down to 193rd Street and just watch them that way? You know, it doesn't make any sense. So that's all I'm going to say for now. I'm disgusted, guys. And, you know, like I said earlier, the electeds were contacted today and, you know, that's where I'm going to leave it because my hand is getting sore and I want to get to editing the rest of this video, guys. So that's it. Thank you all for watching. And, you know, please, 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 if you are in Elmont, if you are in Queens Village, if you're in Elmhurst, Fresh Meadows, Bayside, Flushing, contact your electeds. Complain to them and let them know that you don't want these loud events interfering with your quality of life. You don't deserve to be paying $10,000 a year in property taxes or even more just to hear boom, 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 boom. Ain't, ain't it 9 o'clock at night. Because when I was home on Friday, I couldn't watch SmackDown because of it. I, could, I was barely able to watch the show. And I barely was even able to watch the Tonys last night. So that's pretty much it. I'm done talking, and let's hope that the right thing is done where Governor's Ball and Hot 97 Summer Jam is back where they rightfully belong in 2024. Thank you for watching.